Guys, welcome to another video. This is a bit of a different one. This is one me um, going on a little bit of a rant about football, especially how I feel that there is a Casemiro bias in in the referee industry at the moment. I'm not a ref in any way, shape, or form, but I am a very big football fan and I watch a lot of football, um, not just Manchester United. And I've made this very fair um, in the sense that I put other tackles from Manchester United players in who I think are the Reds who have got away with. Them. And I think this mainly is me, me ranting about how poor the referee standard is in the Premier League right now. So I'm going to go ahead now. And you can see this is the, the challenge by here. Hopefully I'm not going to get DMC for it. This is the challenge by here of Casemiro getting the red card against uh, Newcastle. Um, look, do I think it's a red card? Yes. And that's not the issue for me. All right, I think you've got to take into account that his foot's come off the ball, but at the end of the day, he has to be in control. His leg's not straight. It's at this bent, number one. It's over the top of the ball. Yes, it's a red, okay? I get it, right? I'm, I've gone past denying now. It's gone off the ball, and yeah, it's over the top. It's hit his shin pad, and yes, it's a red, okay? So my argument is, there's a couple of challenges since then. I can't find them all, um, but I've, I've picked out three different challenges. One of them being another Manchester United player. Um, so I'm not being called biased. Um, and you can see here, why is this not a red card? Okay. This is a very similar challenge for the sense that he's gone over the ball, he's hit the knee. Okay. He has not attempted to pull away from the challenge. Well, I don't believe he's attempted to pull away from the challenge. His eyes are on the ball. Right. But my talent, why is that not a red card? Okay. Is it. Why is VAN not picked that up? At the end of the day, that's a straight leg, right? That's a straight leg. Why is that not a red card? But yet again, if it was Casemiro, VAR would have picked that up. In this match, it was the same VAR ref uh, official as the one against Newcastle. So why is that not being picked up? Bear in mind, the person who was on VAR at Newcastle today was the one who sent them off for the opposed strangle, um, which never happened. Okay, I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying that it's a bit coincidental that the same referee has sent them off twice. Um, on to the next challenge. So this is from another YouTube video. Someone tell me how that then is it any different to Casemiro's. He is two foot off. Let me just rewind a little bit. So, but you know, he's two foot off. Two foot, no control whatsoever. Straight leg. Onto the shin. Nowhere near the ball. At least Casemiro got the ball, right? And hit his shin. It's only for the athleticism from this player to actually move his body in midair to get out with the channel, channel, uh, challenge. He was able to survive um, not breaking a leg. Yeah? So why is that not being picked up by VAR? Why is this not being picked up? And thought, hmm, I think we need to review that. That's a red. That is, I, th I believe that a worse challenge from him. Yeah, he's done fantastic to get out of the way. That's a worse challenge from him than any other thing, uh, than, than the Casemiro's challenge, okay? But last but not least now is Fabinho, right? And for me, this is a blatant red. I don't care if you're Stevie Wonder. There's no attempt for the ball on this. It's an absolute disgrace of a challenge from a senior pro, a senior pro, who's played the game fantastic on a very young, young, promising player in Ferguson. And this could have ruined his career, personally. Right? No attempt for the ball. Look at this. This is just pure... That, that there, was not given as a red. Why? Why has VAR not picked that up? That's an absolute disgrace of a challenge. Look, he's nowhere near the ball. He's just gone, fuck this, studs right into the back of his calf. Uh, at the back of his ankle. That's a disgrace. Absolute disgrace of a challenge. But yet again, it's because none of the names are Casemiro. And yet again, I genuinely believe that is a bias in this game towards Casemiro, and especially in the Premier League. Bear in mind, this player did not have a single red card in La Liga. That's all I'm saying. But he's had two and one season in the Premier League. Um, fuck. I'm not saying it's not a red card, what I'm saying is Casemiro... Casemiro's first red card wasn't a red card, personally. I don't think it was anything in that, if anything. 
the person who actually hit someone in the throat should have got the red card and not Casemiro, to be honest. But hey, we're not going to get into that one. That's one for a different video. Um, because yet again, if he's English, he gets away with it, like yeah, like um, like like many Man City players have in recent games. But yeah, for me, I would love for somebody to analyse these from a referee's point of view. For me, because at the moment I'm getting very frustrated with a lot of these tackles. And again, there's one yesterday. There's possibly two yesterday that were red cards and not given in the Liverpool game. Um, and one of my buddies, uh, review every foul. Uh, go and check him out. His link will be in the description below. Please go and check him out. Um, reviews these type, and even he agrees that the both players should have been sent off before the before the challenges representative challenges happened for Liverpool. And I generally feel that there is some sort of bias towards Casemiro, and um, I think it needs to be looked into because it's it little things like that suspensions of one of your best players, especially a centre defensive midfielder in the Premier League can change title races, can change top four races, can change relegation battles. And I do generally feel Brighton have had a terrible time with the referees. I don't care about Manchester United or any top 14. Brighton have been absolutely daylight robbery from these referees. And um, again, that should have been a red card for Fabinho there. Um, it, was, it was no attempt to make a ball. And, and, and for me, that's serious foul play. And and possibly well, seriously endangering an opponent in it. Let's be real now. Um, so guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Personally, I think it's a vast bias um against Casemiro, and I generally feel it should be changed as soon as possible. So guys, let me know. Um, again, go and check out my buddy. Uh, review every foul. He's got a YouTube channel. Go and check him out, please. Uh, um, hopefully you can review these for me. That'd be nice. Review the video, and uh, let me know what he thinks. So guys, take care. Much love. Peace.